So how do you actually uninstall an app from a Mac and get all those little files that are left behind? I'm gonna show you a couple tricks here. Let's get into it. A lot of you are gonna know how to delete apps from your app, you know, from your Apple computer, from Mac OS, but there's some ways to get those little files that hang in there, the ones that are like tough to find. It doesn't delete everything, you know, there's gonna be some kind of cache files and other things, and I'm gonna talk about that in this video, just plus a couple other things. So how do you delete apps? You know, what are the best ways to do it? It really depends on a couple of factors. Now it's gonna depend on how you actually installed it, or if it's part of Mac OS itself, or if you just downloaded it from the internet. There's all three different ways to delete these, and I'm gonna show you all three of those. If you're like me and you wanna have a clean Mac and you want to get all your space reclaimed back, this is what you need to do. And just stay with me because there's going to be ways to just delete them initially, but then to get all those little files that you need to delete later just so you get that space back. All right, so I'm going to share my screen here and just show you a couple things and just show you the difference between different files that you want to delete or different applications. So here's my screen over here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go down to Launchpad. I actually had it open already, but if you click here at Launchpad, you're going to see this. You may have applications in here. You may have a few pages of them. First things first, there's three different kinds of apps. There's gonna be apps that came with Mac OS. You cannot remove those. Those are gonna be things like the App Store or things like Maps on here, you can see those. Those applications you cannot delete, and you, you know if you don't use them, just create a folder in here, uh, in, in Launchpad, drag them all in there, and just label it, don't use these, or I don't use these. At least you have, you go from many of them, you can see just down to one little folder, but you can't remove those. Now, apps that you downloaded directly from the, the Apple App Store. What you can do is, let's just say, um, I'm, I don't know if I did any here, but if you hold something, I think I did iMovie, so I, this didn't actually come on it, but I just downloaded it for free from the App Store. So if you click on this, but with your left button, just hold it down for a couple, so keep holding, holding, you'll notice that all these little X's show up. You can see that there's some X's here, right there. Now, some of them have X's, some of them don't, and there's a couple different reasons. The ones that you cannot delete, obviously, like Safari and Maps, like I showed you, you can't, they have no X's. But since I downloaded GarageBand and iMovie from the App Store, just by clicking the X right there, it'll delete that app. But it doesn't delete all the files, so stay tuned. But you can delete them that way. That's one way to do it. You'll also notice, though, that there's other ones in here that are basically don't have X's, and they also, you know, aren't part of the OS. So what is that? Or, you know, they're not the ones that were installed when you, when you got the computer. And I downloaded this one to show you. It's called Airy down here, A-I-R-Y. And, you know, long story short, there's a different way you have to do this because I can't delete it this way. So I'll show you that. So anyways, anyone that has X's, you can delete them because you, you got them from, from the Mac OS store. So I'm going to click off of this. So that's for part number one. Part number two is, so for these other ones like Airy, how do you delete these? Well, you can, you basically, there's a, you go to Finder. Let me just click this. Let me go, go to my computer here. Click on Finder down here, and you'll see the Finder's here. You got all your documents and everything. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the Go. Make sure you're in Finder. You can see it up at the top bar up here. Click on Go right there, and then go all the way down, and you're going to have in here an Applications folder. And it's way down here for me, but I'm going to click on that. Now you can see it in my folder here, I have all the different applications. So I can take now Airy right here, and I can grab it, and I can drag it all the way down into here, into the trash bin down there. So I just take it, click on it, and I can drag it just like that, and I would put it in the trash bin. And that deletes it kind of like clicking the X, but it doesn't get rid of all the files. It just deletes it from your applications and gets rid of 90, probably 95% of the space of that application. Again, that'll get rid of most of the files and a lot of people are just fine with that and that deletes it. And you can also go in and you can delete the things like I said without clicking on the X. If it's a file that you know you downloaded from the Mac OS store, um, let me just see if I can find one, um, like GarageBand, like I said, you can also just drag this into the trash this way as well. Instead of clicking the X, it does the same thing basically. And now these little other files that you wanna get, there's, there's a couple things. First of all, instead of just dragging this down there, sometimes if you go to the website, um, you know, here's the Airy website, you can look for an app that you downloaded from the website um, instead of, again, the Mac OS store, and see at the bottom here it says uninstall. If you click on it, they should have an uninstall instructions that they're gonna give you. And uh, you'll see here it just says open the applications folder and finder and select Airy and drag it into the trash. That's exactly what we did, right? So it doesn't have any special instructions there. But sometimes if you go to the actual, you know, the manufacturer's website, they'll have very specific instructions on how to get rid of all the little files. And that's what I'm gonna show you anyway, because it's not an exact science, but it gets rid of a lot of that small stuff. So what you wanna do here is, let me click on this. Well, actually, I'm gonna bring back up Finder. So I'm gonna go down here, click on Finder. Again, I'm in here already, so it doesn't really matter. So what I wanna do is I wanna go up to Go up here, 
and click on go, but don't click anything yet. You'll notice in here, there's a whole bunch of things you can click on, but something's missing. What you wanna do is hold down the option key on your keyboard and see how it, it adds something. Well, let's look in here again. It's, it's adding something, it's adding library. See it there? So when I'm not clicking on option, there's no library in here, but when I click on option, there's library right there. So I wanna click on that. And this opens up a whole bunch of different folders. I'm just gonna go like this to make it a little bit easier to see here. So this has got a whole bunch of folders in here now. And so basically what you wanna do in here is there's some folders that you need to look for these apps. So for instance, like Airy and those other things, you wanna go in and clean out anything you can find about those applications. So I'm gonna put up a list here in a second, but like just for kind of a quick example, um, one of the files that you wanna to go to is called application support, see it here? So if you click on this, you're gonna notice in here, there's a whole bunch of files in here. And this is a fairly new Mac, so I don't have a lot in here. You, you might have a ton more. But if I see anything to do with Airy in here, I can actually remove this because this is gonna be part of that program that it didn't delete just by dragging it into the folder. That's number one. So that, that's, you have to look for support files there and their application support files. Um, there's other folders in here, another one's preferences. So if you click on preferences, it's gonna have a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then you have to look for, again, Airy, or whatever application you're looking for, um, as long as you search for what the application's name is, it should have some files associated with it, and you can go ahead and delete those as well. These tend to be very, very small files. They're basically a couple bytes in here. You can see only a few bytes. So if you miss these and stuff, it's not a big deal um, in most cases. But in a lot of cases, you know, if you wanna get everything, you gotta go into these folders. So to kind of show you, and I'm gonna put up something here in a second, and I'm gonna show you a whole list of the different folders you have to check. So look at this, you can see it's application, like I said, application support this is the second one, but then you have application scripts, you have uh, caches, you have, um, let me see, continues, I'm sorry, containers, cookies, logs, and preferences. So again, we're in the library, you know, right in here, let's look for caches this time, a cache. So I go in, go up to C's up here, and uh, let me see if I can find it up further. It's right here, cache. So I basically click on that, and I can see in here, these are all caches or cache for individual applications. Those can be dragged right into the trash as well. So if you have something like this, you can just drag it right in and uh, it'll basically get rid of that as well for that specific app. So what you're doing is you kind of have to go in and search these out, go through these directories, find out what is associated with the app you wanted, you already deleted in a lot of cases by doing the other methods, and then you have to delete those as well in order to get rid of those little tidbits. If you leave them in and then you reinstall that app, they'll have you know, the preferences saved and stuff, but if you want no mention of that stuff, you have to go in piece by piece and drag them in there and remove them. There is one other thing I forgot to mention, and so I just wanted to mention that really quickly. So if we pull up Finder again, and again, if you go into the Applications folder, remember how I said you can drag these into like into the trash and it's gonna delete them? That's one way, and you, that's one good way to do it, but if you click on an app, there's one way to check. Sometimes they have built-in uninstallers in them. So if you click on an app like Airy, like the one I was just using for an example, and you click on Show Package Contents right there, you're gonna notice that a folder shows up here, and sometimes this is gonna be a folder, or sometimes it's gonna be a bunch of folders, and if you click on this, sometimes inside of here, there's gonna be, it's just gonna say uninstall, and it's gonna be an uninstall program, and then if you double click that, that should uninstall everything, including all those subfolders and stuff. I just wanted to mention that, because some it's rare, but some of the applications do have it that way, so you can also check that. All right, just to sum this up, I don't like using the uninstaller programs because a lot of times those uninstaller programs, if you don't know what you're doing, some of them can have malware on them and stuff like that, plus you're adding more software to uninstall everything. Some of them are okay. Again, I just don't like to use that kind of stuff because I don't trust a lot of companies. I don't know where they're coming from. And it's just kind of like, you know, I'm just a little weary about that. And I heard a lot of things people can get viruses from that. So. I just don't use them, but if you like to use them, that's up to you. This is another method of doing it. Again, there's three different methods. You can go into Launchpad. You can hold, uh, you know, click on one of the applications, hold it. If there's X's, you can delete it that way. If you can't do it that way, you go into the Applications folder and you drag it into the trash. Keep in mind that both of those methods are gonna leave those secondary files behind. Then you wanna go through this list. I'll put it up again right here. And go through, you know, and you have to, you know, before I get into there, you have to basically open up Finder just to go through that one last time. You have to go up to Go, and then hold down the Option key, and then click on Library right there. And that's how you're gonna get to your library. And then once you're in your library, here's the files right here that you're the, the folders that you wanna search for. And there's not a really a good science to this except look for the name of the application in there and just drag them into the trash so you can remove any of those kind of lingering files and they're gonna be very small. There's some exceptions, like there's sometimes there's like major program, like major sound files and stuff 
that you have to drag, you know, that are saved in there and it could be a lot of space, but most of the time we're talking bytes and stuff like that. So I hope this helps. Just uh, search the web, there's a lot of information on this as well. Just wanna help people out from time to time and show people how to do this. So we'll talk to everybody in the future here. Stay safe and uh, just have a great week. We'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.